How's it going guys? Welcome to the video. Um, I did not really plan on filming this, but I remember people were commenting for me to do this, so I'm going to do it. Because I really have nothing else to do at the very moment. And I'm sorry for, um, I mean the camera quality is probably not that bad because it's iPhone 8. And the last time I filmed on the camera, I think it was iPhone 7. Um, yeah, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to unbury the Z and get everything swept up in here because it is a shite house in here right now. So I think I'm just gonna start at the front and uh, I'll update you guys as, uh, as we go. All right, so we got the Z officially like unburied, I would say, maybe not like the front of it, but uh, man, is this thing dusty. Jeez. Okay, right. <sighs> At least it's nice out. Back to back to t-shirts, you know. Still got the pants, but you know we in the t-shirt now, so so we lit. All right, now, right now. This is what I'm doing. Whenever I'm overwhelmed with shit that I like should be getting done, and there's like a lot of it, I kind of try to focus on like one area at a time. And that's what I've been doing. And I think I'm doing pretty good. So first things first, I got that stuff stacked over there. This isn't going to be on top of that. That's not going to be on top of that. Broom's not going to be there. That's just garbage. Pail, jack, blah, blah, blah. But I got this right here that just has like some piping and some like, like basically all my spray cans and whatever I find is going to go in this box because this box is still in good shape. And I like having, you know, some things like in the boxes. I'm sure some of you guys are like this where it's like, if it's your mess, you know where everything is. So that's kind of how I am. So... It's okay sometimes to have a box of miscellaneous shit because I know what's in it. Come over here and I have compiled this large box of just miscellaneous tools that I've probably been complaining that I couldn't find. And I have another box here that I'm going to put any other tools I find in. And then I'm going to eventually, probably not today because there's already too much to do, organize all my tools into here like I had it when I first got this box. And clean this box off because this shit's dusty. But all over here, there was just a bunch of shit all over the ground. I don't know if I filmed that, but yeah, I got it all swept up. And uh, this is just like chairs. I got like two uh, folding chairs and the radiator for the Z is here. And I'm going to need that. And yeah, and uh, I swept up like this area right here. Obviously, you could tell compared to uh, that mess, this looks a lot better. And I have to put... I don't know if I can do this by myself because I don't remember if me and Ronnie lifted this thing when we put it in here originally, but that has to go back in the storage bay. So does that. And there's one more. So does that. And then, you know, these things are like awkwardly shaped, so they take up a lot of space. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's your guys' uh, little update. So far, so good. So there it is. Everything's there. I want that bike. It's a Benelli. It's like a Grom, but it's cooler. And it sounds like a 450. Okay. Close this shop up. Ooh, damn. So I got a bunch of shit in here. Don't worry. Empty. Um, this is mostly cardboard. My old downpipe, as you can see. It's pretty restrictive. I can't believe I made almost 350 with this downpipe and a log manifold yeah anyways um this is probably my last not probably this is my last small area that i was kind of saving for last well there and like just shit should i have in the corner over there how's it going again it's me your boy uh shout out noel miller but um yeah dude this is uh this is what we're doing this is what's what's this looking like. I'm not going to cut that last uh, part out. <laughs> Whew. We out here, boy. I found a freaking spatula. I found Kyle's things. Maybe I'll put them in the prelude. Who knows, you know? Um, yeah, dude. So it's 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 looking it's looking freaking freaking decent. This is Ronnie's, I got put this bay in his bay. Well, I swept up, you know, swept up everything, throwing away a bunch of shit. This is the remainder of the uh, bulk garbage that needs to be taken out. 
and I'm really trying to fit all everything that's on the ground in one bag so I could just chuck that and then I could just close these two boxes up and when the next dumpster load comes I can throw those two boxes out but uh yeah we're uh we're doing pretty damn good around here boys all right this is the last thing and then we'll we'll talk about some other stuff maybe about the z nor the the oil spot i gotta get some quick dry for that and that maybe spray it with some simple green and agitate it with the uh then their brooms but besides like this little stuff here which doesn't really matter because i'm going to use these when i organize my tools and i'll get i'll show you I'll, I'll get i'll get to that in a minute so these are all of the loose tools that I have that were in front of the car. And these are all the loose tools I have that were in back of the car. Now that, that's my fist so you can see the box, like the size of the box. So those are all the loose things that were on the floor and I'm gonna have to spend a day by myself. I'm probably just gonna wheel the fucking box like over here in the middle of the room and just Sit there in a chair, relax, and sort every single socket, wrench, friggin' plier, everything, and put it, everything in the box where it goes, and then clean up the box, like I said. But as of right now, as for, as for right now, I should say, from here, like, nothing's against the wall over there besides, like, the broom stuff and, like, my exhaust. And on top of the Z, obviously, is just that box of tools my bumper and the car cover which i'm going to probably use after i wash this thing a little bit at some point but yeah you can see the full z now gotta put the new wheels on get don's wheels off the front and uh and start working on this thing but um yeah let me back up it's looking a lot better once the floor is like clean clean it'll look a lot lot better but uh yeah now obviously like I said, I don't want to fill the dumpster up and be a dickhead to the other shop people, but so I have these two boxes, I'll throw those away next time, but I got one big bag that got all that shit out of here. I'm happy with it. I just go ahead and uh, pull my prelude over here because it's about the time that the guys that are at the shop that my prelude's in front of get here. So I don't want to be in their way. So I'll pull it in here and um, yeah, that we could talk about, that we could talk about Z. So there we go. Prelude's in here, Z's in here. Normally the Z would look a lot shinier than the Prelude because the paint on the Z is way better than the Prelude, but this shit is dusty, boy. Well, that's cool. I could post a before and after <laughs> the day I drove the Z here versus uh, now. It's like the rolls have switched. But yeah, everyone wants me to address what I'm doing with this thing. And I've said it a couple times, just like it just takes money that I don't have at the moment. It's been sitting for a while, but at the same time, there are things that I could probably do just to get it going. Um, so I'm going to start doing those things sooner than later. Um, I don't have a deadline for it or anything. It's not like it's legal. Like it's not like it's road legal. I can't take it to any shows or anything unless I trailered it. But that's not really worth it because I don't care that much to show off. And plus, like, this isn't really, like, a show off -y car. This is, like, a... It was a drift car. It is a drift car. Just haven't drifted in a while. But maybe... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how things go with this whole uh, turbo thing. Because I really don't feel like swapping the engine. It's not hard, but I don't want to put another stock engine in it. I already know it's built for boost. It has low compression pistons. It's not going to make power NA. That's why we have that big old GT45 for it. And that's going to be more than enough to uh, completely friggin' destroy some goddamn tires. So, yeah, I was on the fence about this thing. I'm like, yeah, should I just sell it? Should I, like, just fix it and do, like, a giveaway thing? But, like, giveaways are so fucking dry now. It's just like, ugh, everyone's fucking doing them. So it's like, is it really even worth it? I don't know. I don't know, anyways, but I just figured I'd address that at the end of the video. The shop's clean, as you can see. I'll, I'll turn the camera around one more time. And by clean, I mean, like, there's no, like, junk, just piles of shit everywhere. It's just literally the last of the actual garbage that needs to be thrown out is just these two boxes. And then I just want to, like, you know, quick dry or whatever, and then simple green the floor, put some degreaser on it, and 
just get the oil like lifted out of the concrete. Um, yeah, like there's been oil stains that I haven't even tried to clean up. Like this is just straight up like an oil spill from the friggin' like the drain pans. And that's a lot lighter than this. It's just because that's more recent. And it's just been sitting there for so damn long without being cleaned. But yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video. I know a massive amount of things did not happen in it. But like I said, we don't really have too much to do. So the options are kind of limited in that, uh, in that department. But I have to stop here because I'm going to edit this. And then I'm going to go to Cali's. And then I'm going to have Cali time. We're gonna practice uh, social distancing. So hope all you guys are staying safe. Watch the roads, peace.